I'll develop the the bowl as it as it unfolds, and I kind of let the wood dictate to me a lot of times what it wants to be. Sometimes I have an idea of what I want to make, but a lot of times the wood doesn't agree, and the wood usually wins. So I've never really tried to, to sell my work. Uh, I've, I've displayed it a few times, and uh, so last year was the first year I, I was accepted into the, the Fall Foliage Art Studio Tour. and. Uh, we, had, we, we did fairly well last year, and I'm looking forward to it again this year on Columbus Day weekend. Well, this piece of wood came from one of the local tree surgeons, and he called me up and asked me if I wanted to come and look at it, and I did, and uh, decided there would be something interesting in there, and it's a, it's a large cherry crotch, and knowing that this area right in here is likely to have nice grain and, and good color, I brought it home, and took the chainsaw and halved it up. There'll still be another half of this to go yet. And there's probably a bowl in there and there's probably a bowl in there. I started turning probably in about the eighth grade and uh, moved up here in the, the early 70s and worked at uh, Gurian Guitars for 10 or 15 years. And there are times when you can see a, a bit of that experience in my wood turning. This is a soft maple burl came out of that tree stump that's outside and that actually came out of the center of that bowl so I got two pieces out of that particular piece of wood. This piece of wood here will turn and we'll, this will be the bottom of the bowl and this is cherry. This is, came from that cherry log out front. Well, the bottom's pretty much determined, and the rim is pretty much determined. And at this point, I'll just clean up the bottom a little more and turn it around and start hollowing out the inside. Thank you. Well, I turned the outside first, and with that piece of wood kicked the ground under the lathe for like two years trying to figure out what to do with it. This is this is one where you ask when the wood talks to me. And normally what I do is I, I slice off a, a good solid section and turn that. Well, this one didn't have a solid section in it. And uh, so I kicked it around for a couple of years and finally I decided, you know what, I'm just going to put the whole thing on the lathe and see what happens. 